man who pulls no punches. It's Colin Quinn. You can catch him in his new show, Red State, Blue State, now playing right here in New York City. Come to New York and watch the show. Colin, welcome back. Oh, thanks, Kennedy. I used to love watching the Golden Globes. It yeah. was always, yeah, I mean, Ricky Gervais, even uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Sure. Sasha Baron Cohen one year. Sure. Really making the crowd angry. What happened to that? Well, I mean, comedy is, if you judge comedy on how few people get offended, then it was a huge success. <laughs> is that you know how we mean? should judge comedy? I think I, that's the new, one of the new uh, standards is to uh, judge it by how many people are like, okay, you know, it was like the, it was like an ironic monologue mocking the idea mm -hmm. of mocking people. Yeah, but they, they, they're not Norm MacDonald. They really couldn't no, pull it he's, off he's at the all. King. Yeah. You're right. He's the king of meta, whatever. Yes, exactly. Meta, Meta McDonald, yes. But they're going on, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be a long joke, and it's yeah. not funny. No, I know. So, uh, I, you know. But that's, that's all that's left to, you know what I mean? They should just stop having hosts for any of these shows. I agree completely. Because that's all that's left. Yeah, because when all they do is skewer the president with the same jokes right. and the same predictable punchlines from inside the bubble, it's really boring for the rest of the country. Sure, yeah. Is that what you do in your show, Blue State, Red State, Red State, Blue oh, State? Oh, I definitely, uh, <laughs> I gotta get it I, right. you, you got to get a few shots at him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It's irresistible. That's fine. Um, but, yeah, no. At least balance it out. My show is about the breakup of the United States, mm -hmm. you know, how we should, we should break up into city-states. I That's, think you're right, like ancient Greece. Wow. Yes, exactly what yeah. I say in the show. Yeah, Athens I'd love you to come. Versus Athens Sparta. versus, oh, my God, it's like you saw the show. <laughs> When are you going to come I, see it? You really I should. would love to see it. You I would have it. to be on a Friday, though, because this show is on uh, Monday through Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 in the morning. Yeah, West. well, I mean, Friday's, yeah, of course. You have a show Friday, right? Yeah. You do eight shows a week? Yeah. How much does that suck? Yeah, that's terrible. How long are you going to do this I for? only started. Is it um, going to be a huge hit and you're going to be doing this for three years? If it's a huge hit, I would bring it on the road. I'd rather do it in all 50 states Yeah. and more like preach my uh, breakup philosophy. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's ready. I did, my, I did a show about... The, the country divide unconstitutional a few years ago, and at the end of it, people would be like, "Oh, we don't have to break up now with this show." Mm -hmm. When I, everybody's like, "Yeah." Who who likes it more? People who are visiting from red states who are coming to uh, New York to have the time of their life, or people the the elitist with a cosmopolitan bias from either coast? I feel like well, I haven't done it long enough to really answer that question mm -hmm. yet, but I'll I'll let you know. But I mean, it's 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 too early. I'm still in previews, you know. Who's going to win the next presidential election? Do you think? Based on yeah, based on the tenor is, right now. I don't think it's a, you know. I think I don't think there's the I don't think there's a candidate out there yet. Do you think the president still wants to be president? No. I don't think so either. People get really the mad at me alone. for saying that. Just the walk alone, like that, <laughs> like he's walking to the to the yeah, gas chamber every day. <laughs> like when he walks up and down Air Force One, yes. he's like, ah, oh, my real plane is. One of the most time. fantastic, tremendous. Yeah, no, you don't really <laughs> it sucks. It's no fun. Like, even presidents who are politicians hate yeah. it after a few years. Like, Bill Clinton loved being president. But right. there was a time in his presidency he was scandal plagued. Yes. And everyone was like, my, 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 health care, no, my, my. It's no, way, it's no way to live. No. Life. You know what I mean? I think we should have presidents every six weeks, maybe, and then have Yelp reviews. <laughs> <laughs> and decide if you want to keep them on for another six. I think that's a better way of doing yeah, things. I agree. Sadly. First of all, there's too many people. We had a president for 13 colonies. Now we have a president for like 350 million people versus a million people. Yeah. There should be, whatever, 227 presidents. I mean, they, they talk about breaking up just California, north and south. No. They, you break up all the states and then city, suburb, and, and rural mm -hmm. areas. All right, well, you which would you it. prefer to live in, you city, suburb, or rural? That's my problem. I'm really a man without a car. I feel like you are, too, you know. Yeah. We're just stuck in this netherworld. Maybe we'll start some kind of a netherworld for yeah. people like us. Middle Earth. People that are too intelligent to really fit anywhere. <laughs> you know, let's I don't want to say honest. that on TV, but that's how we both feel. Thank God the At show's not live. That. We'll cut it in post. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Quinn, I love everything about you. Please come back. Thanks, Kathy. And I'll go see your show. Oh, good, yeah. Yes. I love it. <laughs>